made a field before them in the temple of the Lord, which he showed the king standing by the pillar, as was the first God, and the captain and capital of the UK, with all the people of the land rejoicing and doming from them. She tore her garment and cried out, Reason, reason. Then the wife of the priest instructed the captain in the command of the court. Bring her outside to the land. If anyone follows her, he added, let him die by the sword. He had given orders that she should not be slain in the temple of the Lord. She was led out forcibly to the horse gate of the royal father, where she was put to death. Then the wife made a covenant between the Lord at one party, and the king and the people at the other, by which they would be the Lord's people, and another covenant between the king and the people. Thereupon all the people of the land went to the temple of Baal and demolished it. They shattered its altars and images completely and slew Medas, the queen of Baal, before the altar. Jehoiada appointed the detachment for the temple of the Lord. All the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet. Now the Italia had been saved with the sword at the royal palace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has chosen time for his strength. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. The Lord swore to David, a fear from him from which he will not withdraw. Your own offering I will set upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prepared there for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her will I dwell, for I am the perfect. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. In her will I make a horse to spout forth for David. I will place the lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will not be shame, but at that game my ground shall shine. The Lord has chosen Zion for his will. Please stand to unrepass. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourself precious ideas, whether bone or decay destroy, the thieves break in and steal, but store up precious in heaven, where neither bone nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where you are be, there also you are hearty. The lamb of the body is the height. If your eye is soft, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great does the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. 
the lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, the whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, the whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the greatness be? To understand this passage in a spiritual sense, it can teach us many lessons. But St. Thomas Aquinas, in his commentary on this Gospel of St. Matthew, he interrupts like this. The eye in this passage refers to your intention and your whole body refers to all of your action and that follow from your intention. I refer to intentions, your whole body refers to all of your actions and to follow from your intentions. Therefore, when your intentions are in line with God's will, the actions that will follow will be also be in short, whatever the intentions, whatever the petitions you make to God, it should be for the glorification of God. And then this intention is in the right way for the glory of God. The next, the secondary thing, the next intentions, the actions, everything will be fine. So today, you look like what is your intention? The intention is it for your selfishness? Is it for your only growth? For only your family? You look back. Because when we pray to God, when we put forth our intention, petition, it should glory with God and that intention should help others. Of course, when we ask for someone, Jesus automatically blesses us. He gives in abundance. For them, we should have a deep faith in God. And that faith will help you to flow close to Jesus, will help you to seek abundance of grace, and everything will be perfect, and everything will be for the glorification of God, and you will go in the path of holiness, do these acts, do these actions, everything will be fine and automatically you, your family and everybody in the society will be blessed. So today you reflect what is your intention and are you putting these intentions for the glory of God. Reflect in this way and try to see his grace and guidance in your family Amen. Jesus challenges to store of treasures in heaven rather than earthly treasures. Let us set of our hearts in heaven as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be men and women, for the slavery of materialism, by constantly teaching the value of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our That politicians and civil leaders may initiate programs and projects for the integral development of society and its constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who are entrusted with great wealth may realize their status as stewards rather than absolute owners of the goods they possess. 
let us pray together. Lord, we are praying. That those who are being quiet in the things of this world may realize the beauty of setting one's heart on heavenly creation. Let us pray together. Lord, we are praying. That those who suffer and die in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray together. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, let us all pray for our own intentions. Let us pray together. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are now for us, never changes our faith so they give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of our God. It is right and make us. It is truly right and just of a duty and of a salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, our baby, eternal God, for you are the fair praise in the company of your saints, and in growing their merits, you proud your hope gives. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us a companionship by their intuition, pure support, so that entering by so great a cloud of witnesses, they may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the invisible props of glory. To Christ our Lord, also with the aid you should have been to show the great multitude of the saints. We sing the name of your praise as without pain to be humbly. Holy, holy, holy Lord God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of King of Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of King of Christ. He told me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the part of our holiness. May holy and holy gifts be prayed by the things of your spirit upon them and the new one, so that they may become for us the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time we must be prayed and yet to the great station, we took bread and many thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the bread of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Yes, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held the soothing immediate presence administered to you. How we be praying with partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in a church, with the of the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Dr. Rebellious David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, heart. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be for his eternal life and be grace and glory by you to pray for Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with thee, and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is in us forever and ever. Amen. With the Savior's command, and power by the main teaching, we that to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, God, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us and our days in the general of your whole city may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Dear Apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grace, which we grant that peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those God who the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray, bring us to our being fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor to be, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving to praise our Lord. Amen. Please near for the prayer of our Lady of Praise. Dear Heavenly Mother, our Lady of Praise, by the power of the Holy Spirit, your faithfulness to the will of the Father brought us Jesus the Savior as the Father's greatest gift of the world. With the confidence of a trusting child, I place in your loving hands the prayers of the whole church. I also entrust to you, Mother of Faith, this urgent need of your child. Loving Mother, our Lady of Grace, like you, I open myself and my life to the wisdom and mercy of our Father. May the Father's will be done in me and in all those I pray to the Father. With you, O Mother of Grace, I pray this to the Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Cup TV, Info TV. Thank you and God bless.